Okay, once you're done with your grannies and your center granny, you want to sew them together. Make sure that your grannies are facing the right way. It can be difficult to tell, but the back has kind of a ring around this center square. You can show um, that you're on the back side. So just make sure that all of your three grannies here are all facing the right way. And I want to attach it with white. You don't have to, but I want to use white. And there's a lot of methods that you can use to sew on your grannies. But my preferred method uh, that seems to work where I don't have to keep repairing my afghans several times a year is I like to use a single crochet method. But using the single crochet method leaves a border, which can be nice too, if you, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, and I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up all my grannies like this. And then I'm going to use three markers. And I'm going to line them up. Let me show a little camera here. Since I moved, I have my camera like on one computer, <laughs> on one desk, and my stuff on another desk. Okay, so I'm going to mark here with a marker. I'm going to go in and get a little closer on this side here just to show you the first connection with this first square. I'm going to go in through this corner space. As you can tell, it's pretty easy to, to find the corners because they're just one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So I'm going to go in through the center of this corner and I'm going to find the same setup here which is again one single crochet, I mean one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet and I'm going to place my marker going through one and coming through the other. I'm essentially like attaching them by marker. I go through each corner and then pull it through like that and you can tighten it and now your marker actually holds your granny corner to corner in place. And now I'm going to move over. This is one granny and it lays good flat against it. So I'm going to bring my other granny and my next granny both. And it looks good. So I'm going to move over my project to my next corner here. Grab the other granny that I want in this corner. And I'm going to repeat what I did. I'm going to go through the very corner of this one and find my corner on this one and the very corner of this one. And attach that corner to that corner. Now you have two grannies attached by the corner. You want them to lay flat get your center one here. Now lay it where you can fit your grannies beside each other without there being any bunch, bunched up or anything. And you stretch, even if, let me back up just a bit here so you can see what I'm doing here. And even if you have to stretch the sides just a little bit to get it to fit in there flat like that then do it. You can also kind of use your stitches here to line them up. Same with this one. You can line up your stitches. Now, once you've got it lined up and this one here has these two lined up pretty good, I think this is going to be a good place to stick it. So these two, these three here line up with these three. So this one here is a double crochet as part of the corner. So I'm going to leave this as this part of the set of three because if I did one more row it would have been. This would have had to been back post, back post, back post. But right now it's the corner. So I'm going to treat it as my corner here. I'm going to go in between these three and go up into the corner of this one. I'm going to get my next marker. I'm 
I'm going to connect it like that. I'm going to find the same thing here. There's a line up here, here, and here. Just get a little closer here. It's weird working from on one desk of the computer, being on another desk. Anyway, they line up these three stitches, these three stitches, these three stitches, these three stitches, and now you have one, two, and then the corner double crochet. So I'm going to use these three stitches on this side and then go through the very corner and grab my marker and attach it here. So now I have the middle one attached by two markers and then each of my corners attached to the very corner of my, my big center. So now that we got them all marked out, we can start attaching them. And like I said, you use any color. I just prefer white because I like that border and white is going to stick out that much more. I'm going to start making my loop with a little extra tail so I can work in with a tapestry needle night later. And then I can remove my marker now on this side. Again, let me get closer here. Move it over so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. I'm moving my marker from this side. And I'm going to go into the corner. And then the corner of this one where I had my marker before. And I'm going to do a single crochet attachment, which means I'm just going to bring up a loop. And then I'm going to single crochet. I'm not going to be working over my tail because I want to work it in really good later with the tapestry needle. So if it makes it easier for you at this point, which it usually does, is you want to fold it up like this where you can align your stitches. And it helps with this particular stitch pattern because you have in sets of three. And if you can match up your sets of three here with the sets of three on the other side, then you know you're keeping straight. Okay, my ball of yarn is rolling away. Okay, so what you want to do is go in through the, this side of the stitch. Whoops. You want to go in through this stitch and find the matching stitch on the granny, then do a single crochet. And you just continue going through both the stitch on your big granny here in the center and your small granny on the other side. I'm going under both loops. So go under two loops here and then it's equal on the other side. Go through both loops. So just continue to do this until you get to your next granny. Okay, I got to the end of this granny. And now I can remove my stitch marker. And now I'm starting to sew the middle granny into its spot. I'm just going to go into the next stitch, find my corner on this granny, and do a single crochet. And then again, I'm going to match up the best I can on my stitches in the sets of three. And then continue to single crochet this one is equal as this one. And as you can already see, it's leaving a bit of a border here. 
which I like. But like I said, you can attach your grains any way you like. This is just the cutest and stronger, strongest method that I, I like to use for my own personal grannies. Because I haven't had to repair a granny square yet made with this connection. Because you're not forever cutting your yarn as much like you were if you use a tapestry needle. It's really important to try to keep them even. As much as you can, even if you have to skip one. I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. I missed one somehow. There we go. Okay, now we're on our last one here. I can remove my marker from this side. And then go into the next stitch. Find my corner. You can go under, which is what I was doing before, or you can go into the stitch. I think I'm just going to go into the white corner area. As long as you stay consistent, it should be fine. Again, I'm going to line up three by three. And then continue down to sew my third and final granny square on this side. Okay, I just finished this last granny and now you just want to turn just want to turn it now so you can keep working no need to cut your yarn you want to work and more continuous uh, as continuous as you can for as long as you can less tails and stronger connection so I'm just going to move up to the next one and start marking my grannies. This is my very corner stitch here to this very corner stitch. Just like we did before. that corner that corner and you want to do the same way you did last time so then you want to move over and do your next corner next going through this very corner stitch and then this very corner stitch connect them and then you want to line these up three by three as best as you can. I'm going to put this one here. Also try to line it up three by three. This one is the end of my three here. See I have one, two, and then the quarter stitch is a double crochet, chain one double crochet. I'm going to use this double crochet, count it as my third. I'm going through that center stitch. And I have three on this side as well. My three on the front post. So they're lined up now three by three. Connected on this side. Do the same with this one. Make sure they're all aligned three by three. And pick up your yarn again where you left off. And now I'm going to go ahead and undo my marker on this side. I'm just going to go into that stitch in the corner, both corners like I did before, and do a double crochet.
and I'm trying to line it up as much as I can here. Going to the next stitch. And start single crocheting. Don't single crochet too tightly on the corner because remember it needs to turn. And I really don't want to add any extra stitches here to make it more of a corner. And also remember you're going to be attaching another square here in this corner as well to finish off the square. So continue to connect all your grannies this exact same way all the way around your blanket and then I will show you how to add your corner spaces and to connect the grannies together. Okay, I just went all the way around my afghan so far and got all of my sides done and now I'm going to start adding my corners. To do that, you just get your corner, put it in there, and I'm going to go from this corner to this corner and single across crochet it here, and then I'm just going to keep following this way all the way to the end, connecting it to this other side one, just like I did on my center ones. Just going to keep following along and connect it. Since I've been doing all that crocheting sitting here, I'm kind of out of camera. Sorry about that. But I'm just doing what I did before. Connecting this corner piece. Try to get to this very corner of uh, both of my squares on this side. Single crochet and chain one. Then I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving myself some tail to be worked in. And I usually work in my tails down the white or whatever color you have. And then to do all the side ones, because you're going to be needing to now sew them all together, you just do what you were doing before. You'll just single crochet attach. I'm going to make my loop, leaving myself a bit of yarn so I can work that tail in later. And I'm going to go ahead and go through the first stitch on this side of the granny and then the the other one aligned. So I just want to make sure I have them all lined up and then go through just pull the loop and then pull through both loops to do the single crochet attachment on this side as well. And then you're just going to single crochet them together just like you did all the other ones. And when you get to the end, you're going to get to the corner like you did on this one. And then you'll just chain one and cut your yarn again, leaving a tail. And you're going to go and do that between each granny square just to connect them together. Attach your single crochet attachment single crochet, sew them together, and on the corner, chain one, cut your yarn. And repeat this all the way around for all your grannies.